Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I am having too much fun to not turn the camera on. And I wanted to show you what I came up with. I've only done two of these. But I, I've been working in some Christmas journals and I wanted a way to bring some nature into it. I don't, I don't, I have never uh, gotten into the eco dyeing. I love Rosemary Morris at the Rusty Peacock. She is like, to me, she's like the queen of eco dyeing. And I, I really want to learn how to do it someday. But I was thinking, what can I do quickly to get some prints of some leaves? So I started playing around with some leaves. I went out to the backyard and picked these up. And the first thing I did, the very first print I got, I simply took some of the like raw sienna or whatever it is. What is it? Burnt umber. I've got burnt umber over here. Uh, the raw sienna is down here. So I just painted the leaf and it painted all over the top of it. It went on just a really nice coat. And I laid the leaf down on some paper, put some fabric over it very carefully, and then ironed it. And it came out looking like this, which is really pretty, but it's not that dark. That said, I brought the leaf back and I thought, okay, I'm going to paint it again. And maybe it will have you know, more color, I'm gonna add more this time, but to my surprise, the color just beat it up. I don't know if I did something to the leaf with the heat, maybe there was something in the fabric that got on it, but the, the watercolor was just beating up everywhere. So I said, hmm, what can I do? Well, I got out these, I guess it's Bria Reese, these watercolor creams, they're really rich. It says highly pigmented, water-soluble, non-toxic. Uh, so I colored the leaf with the red, the red crayon. Let's go ahead and get out a couple of other colors because I want to make a few more of these. That's good for now. I don't want to go crazy because I have to go to work in a little bit. I colored the leaf. Let's just go ahead and make one. Look how it turned out. Let's see if I can recreate this. So... And I've got crap fabric close by. What did I do with it? Aye, aye, aye. Okay, I have some pieces ready. Let's go ahead and move. Let's put, we'll put this underneath and turn it that way. Oh, that's where the water beat it up. And I accidentally ironed a wrinkle into that fabric. So I'm going to lay this down to put the leaf on. But let's move it out of the way because I don't want to get stuff all over it. Uh, we'll just go back with the same leaf because maybe we'll pick up some other colors and I'm going to try this sort of yellow gold. Let's go ahead and color the whole thing. I'm wondering if any type of like non-toxic crayon media would work for this. I haven't tried my um, the Faber Cat, the Gelatos, they're really rich and creamy so they might they might work. I don't know about oil pastels. I, that crossed my mind, but they can be hard to color with, and I don't really know. I don't want to create some kind of poisonous gas out here. I don't, I didn't know if I should try those. But these packages that say, you know, non-toxic, that's, that's pretty. I love that. And then just to add another layer, I think I'm going to put, maybe we'll put some of this bright yellow. Just add it to some places. I might even mix those two colors. Put it on top of here. And then let's come back. Actually, you know what? I feel like I need more color. I don't know. I think I had more on top of the last one. And, and water. That might help it soak in if that makes sense. It might just carry it right into the fabric a little better. And I'll be sure and get that stem. Now, let's lay our little thing down, our little base fabric, and put this right here. This is kind of the tricky part, and let's lay that down, and then I'm going to iron it. And you do have to run the iron around, but you know, you don't want to pull it so hard that you pull the fabric away and mess up your 
your stain that you're getting. And I see I'm putting a wrinkle down here, so I'm going to try not to do that. These are so pretty. Can you imagine a banner of these brightly colored leaves, like in a classroom or even in your house, like hanging on the mantle? I can't wait to see what this one looks like. Oh, it's so pretty and they're sparkly because these, the, the Bria Reese, the watercolor creams, these are metallic colors. And I feel like that watercolor over the top, that helps it to soak in and it gives it more color. This could have even more color in my opinion. So now we have two. Let me try a different leaf. Oh, even this is pretty. I don't want to get rid of that. Maybe I'll laminate that. Let's move this out of the way and let's get another. I thought I took out some green. Maybe I, I meant to take out a green because I do want to, since these are going in my Christmas journal, I do want to try a green. This is a really, really bright green. Oh, that's okay. So let's go ahead and color this whole thing. This leaf has not been ironed yet. It's straight out of the yard. So this will be the first run. This will be the first print run with this leaf. I love using nature in journals and art. Does anybody here keep chickens? <laughs> I kind of want to get some chickens. I miss the neighbor's chickens and I want fresh eggs. Um, I know it would be a lot of work. My mom has them. I've never personally had them, so it would definitely be a learning curve for me. And to go a step further, does anybody have their chickens for eggs and for meat? I don't know. I've never had to do that, like slaughter animals, but just curious, just curious. Okay, so we've got some green on there. I really do feel like I would like to have some, maybe a few other colors in there. No idea what this is gonna do. I guess the green's kind of going to end up on top because it is closest to the leaf. I hope I didn't overdo it there. So let's get our little bottom layer and put this right here. And then another piece of fabric. And let's start ironing. pretty from this side. Oh, that's pretty. I, there's got to be a way to get more color. There has got to be a way to get more color on there. So, you know what? I'm going to stop for now. I was just so excited about this. I had to turn the camera on and show you what happened when I decided to experiment with this. These are really pretty. At least I think they are. And I think they would be so pretty in a Christmas journal. So, that's it. I just wanted to show you this. I'm going to keep working with this because I think there's got to be a way to make it better and better. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'll be back really soon. Bye for now.